Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Thursday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time, September 23rd, 2021. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in the presence of God. Let us begin as we always begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Awake, lyre and harp. With praise, let us awake the dawn. Our first psalm is Psalm 57, entitled, Morning Prayer and Affliction. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my, stul my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but it fell on themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations, I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, send your mercy and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil. And we will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nations, happy to be known as companions of your Son. Awake, lyre and harp, with praise let us awake the dawn. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Our canticle is taken from Jeremiah, entitled, The Happiness of a People Who Have Been Redeemed. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant coasts and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. They themselves shall be like watered gardens. Never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall mer make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. Our second psalm is Psalm 48, entitled, Thanksgiving for the People's Deliverance. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city. God in the midst of his citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assemble together, Together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded. Dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. 
Walk through Zion, walk all around it. Count the numbers of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles, that you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, the body of your risen Son is the temple not made by human hands and the defending wall of the new Jerusalem. May this holy city, built of living stones, shine with spiritual radiance and witness to your greatness in the sight of all nations. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. Our reading this morning is taken from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, The heavens are my throne and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house can you build for me? What is it to be my resting place? My hand made all these things when all of them came to be, says the Lord. This is the one whom I approve, the lowly and afflicted man who trembles at my word. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today, blessed among us, uh, we celebrate the memorial of St. Pio of Petraclina, also known as Padre Pio, a Capuchin friar and mystic who was born in 1887 and died in 1968. Padre, Padre Pio, a Capuchin friar of peasant background, spent virtually his entire life in a monastery in southern Italy. In most respects, he was indistinguishable from his fellow friars. But for some mysterious purpose, Padre Pio was set apart for the thousands of pilgrims who flocked to hear him say mass or to have him hear their confessions or simply to rest their gaze on him and his bandaged hands. He was living proof for the existence of God. Like St. Francis, Pio was a stigmatic. He bore on his hands feet and side the wounds of Christ. These mysterious open wounds, for which there was no natural explanation, appeared on his body in 1910 and remained until some months before his death. He was credited with thousands of miracles and enjoyed other extraordinary gifts, including the ability to read the hearts of penitents. It was even said that he had the rare gift of biolocution, the ability to be in more than one place at once. In other words, he was endowed with a full repertoire of supernatural gifts, typically ascribed to medieval saints, though he was a man living in the glare of modern skepticism. He regarded his celebrity as a terrible cross. Many denounced him as a charlatan or a neurotic. To discourage his popularity, church officials for many years instructed him not to say mass. Eventually, his faith and sufferings were vindicated by the church. In 2002, 34 years after his death, he was canonized by Pope John Paul II, formerly a Polish priest, whose papal election Padre Pio had prophesied in 1947 after hearing his confession. This is a quote from Padre Pio. Pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer. Our responsory, from the depths of my heart, I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. From the depths of my heart, I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. I will do what you desire, hear me, O Lord. Glory to the fathers, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the depths of my heart, I cry to you, O Lord. Arcanical of Zachariah. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, 
to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. The response to our intercessions this morning is, Open our hearts, O God. God of holiness, you graced Padre Piel with a love for prayer. In company with him we pray, Open our hearts, O God. Deepen in your church the gifts of contemplation, prayer, and charity. We pray, Open our hearts, O God. Endow confessors, spiritual companions, and counselors with compassion, humility, and attention to your spirit. We pray, open our hearts, O God. Help us to reach out to those who suffer in mind, body, or spirit. We pray, open our hearts, O God. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, for our deacon candidates, Michael and Domingo, for our parish ministers, our parish staff, for Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be sick or have passed away. We pray, open our hearts, O God. Let us now say the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray to his Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And our prayer to Jesus for healing and guidance during our COVID-19 pandemic. Jesus, Son of God, you were sent by the Father to bear our weakness. Be with us in this time of crisis. Merciful Savior, heal and comfort the sick, so that with health restored they may give you praise. Divine Physician, accompany our caregivers so that serving with patience, they may heal wisely. Eternal Wisdom, guide our leaders so that seeking remedies, they may follow your light. Christ the Anointed, protect us in body and spirit so that freed from harm, we may be delivered from all affliction. Who live and reign with God, the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. All-powerful and ever-living God, you came, called Saint Pio of Petraclina, Padre Pio, to guide your people by his word and example. With him we pray to you, watch over the pastors of your church, with the people entrusted to their care, and lead them to salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God enrich our lives with every blessing we need to fix our hearts on Christ, walk in his truth, and single-heartedly revere his name in company with all the saints. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised. <laughs>